In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert binary into gray code and also how to convert gray code into binary. But first, let's go from binary to gray code. So here we have a table on the right. Let's start with a simple example. Let's start with the binary code 011. So the first thing we need to do is we need to rewrite the MSB. That is the most significant bit, which is zero. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to compare these two numbers. If they're the same, we're going to write zero. If they're different, we're going to write one. Zero and one are different, so we're going to put one. Next, let's compare these two. So one and one, they're the same, so we're going to write zero. And thus, we can see that the binary code 011 corresponds to the gray code 010. So let's try some more examples. Let's convert the binary code 110 into gray code. So let's just keep this here for reference. So first, we're going to write the MSB, the most significant bit, 1. And then we'll compare the first two numbers. 1 and 1, they're the same. So we're going to write 0. And then 1 and 0 are different, so we're going to put 1. So 110 corresponds to 101. Now, let's try a harder example. So let's say if we have the binary number 101011. Go ahead and convert that into a gray code. So the MSB is going to be the same. Now, let's compare these two. So 1 and 0 is different, so we're going to put a 1. 0 and 1, they're different, so we're going to put a 1. 1 and 0 are different, so we're going to put a 1. And then we have 0 and 1, that's different. And then finally, 1 and 1, they're the same. So the answer in gray code is 111110. Go ahead and try these two examples. Convert 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 into gray code. And also try this one too. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Convert both binary numbers into gray code. Feel free to pause the video and try this for the sake of practice. So first, let's rewrite the MSB, which is 1. And then let's compare these two. So those two, they're the same. So we're going to put a zero for that. These two, they're different. So we're going to put one. These two are different. So one. Those two are the same. So that's zero. And these two are the same. So that's going to be a zero. So the answer for the first uh, practice problem is one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Now, let's move on to the next example. So let's rewrite the first number, and then let's compare. So 1, 0, those two are different, so we're going to put a 1. 0, 1, they're different, so 1, 1, 0 is different. So this becomes repetitive after a while. 1, 0 is, I mean, 0, 1 is different, so that's 1. 1, 1 is the same, so now we finally get a 0. 1, 0 is different, so that's a 1, and 0, 1 is different, so 1. So that's the answer for this example. It's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So now you know how to convert from a binary code into a gray code. But now let's talk about how we can go backwards. That is how we can go from a gray code into the binary code. So we're going to go from G to B. So let's say we have the gray code 110. Let's convert that to binary. So first, we need to rewrite the MSB. So that's going to be a 1. And then what we need to do is compare these two numbers. So those two numbers are the same. And we're going to put a 0 for that. And then 0, 0 are the same. 
so we're going to put a 0. So this is the binary equivalent. It's 1, 0, 0. As we can see here, a gray code of 1, 1, 0 gives us a binary code of 1, 0, 0. Now let's try another example. So let's go from the gray code to the binary code. So let's say we're given a gray code of 1, 1, 1. What is the binary code? So first, let's rewrite the most significant uh, bit. Let's put it here. So that's going to be 1. And then we'll compare these two. They're the same, so we're going to write 0. And then these two are different, so we're going to put 1. So a gray code of 1, 1, 1 corresponds to the binary code 1, 0, 1. Now, let's try a harder example. So let's start with the gray code 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Go ahead and convert this gray code into a binary code. Feel free to pause the video and try this using what you've learned so far. So first, let's rewrite the MSB. So that's 1. Next, let's compare those two. So 1 and 1 are the same, so we're going to write 0. And then 0 and 0 are the same, so we're going to write 0 again. These two are the same, so that's a 0. 1 and 0, they're different, so we're going to put a 1. And 0 and 1 are different, so that's a 1. Thus, the binary equivalent of the gray code 110010 is 100011. So that's it for that example problem. For the sake of practice, let's try two more examples. So given the gray code 111101, go ahead and convert that to a binary number. So let's rewrite the MSB. So that's going to be 1. Comparing these two, they're the same, so 0, 1 and 0 are different, so we're going to put a 1 for that. 1 and 1 are the same, so 0, 0 and 0 are the same, so 0, and then 1 and 0, they're different, so 1. So thus the gray code 111101 corresponds to the binary code 101001. So this next example is going to have eight numbers. So the gray code is 1, 0, 1, let me space them out, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 1, 1. Go ahead and try that. So let's rewrite the MSB. So that's 1. And 1 and 0, they're different. So we're going to put a 1. 1 and 1 is the same, so that's a, a 0. 1 and 0 different, so that's going to be a 1. And then 1 and 1 are the same, so that is, uh, that's going to be 0. 0 and 0 are the same, also 0. 1 and 0, they're different, so we're going to put a 1. 1 and 1 is the same, 0. So the answer for this one is... 11010010. So now you know how to convert between a gray code to a binary code and how to go back from a binary code to a gray code. Now there's something that I want to mention regarding the gray code. The gray code, when you go from one number to the next number, it only differ by one bit. So each successive decimal value differs by one bit in the gray code. In the binary code, it can differ by more than one bits for certain successive values. And so the gray code, it really reduces the number of switching operations if you're going to design a circuit using it. For instance, as we go from the decimal, blah, excuse me, my, I just like chewed up my words there. But as we go from the decimal value 5 to 6, notice the number of changes 
in the binary code. So the binary code for 5 is 101, and the binary code for 6 is 110. So here we made a change from 1 to 0, and also from 0 to 1. So there were two changes going from one number to the next. In the gray code, you're only going to have one change. The gray code for 5 is 111, and for 6, it's 101. So the only number that changed is this particular bit. And so that is the advantage of the gray code over binary code. To go from between successive values, there's only a, a change in one bit. Only one number changes as opposed to two or three numbers. And so that's the major difference between the gray code and the binary code. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.